a lot of people get intimidated by questions like this. But remember, the longer the math question, the more it's just about following instructions. You might not even have to do any math. You just might need to like listen to what they say. So a very helpful thing we can think about with these is that the answer choices are usually very obvious to understand, right? That we can look at the changes between them and then go hunting for that in the, in the passage. So without even reading the passage yet, I'm kind of looking, I'm like, all right, well, what's different between them? I see that this 9,700 is going to flip the sign, right? So maybe that matters. I also see that the, uh, the 10 right here, right before that, we're changing the sign to different things. And then these ones also are changing the sign. So when I'm reading this, I'm not trying to think, how am I going to build this equation? I'm thinking, what are the inequalities that I'm going to use, right? So let's start with these ones. Because that seems simpler, right? X, whatever that is, has to be greater than three or less than three. Let's just see what they say. So Marissa needs to hire at least 10 staff members for an upcoming project. The staff members will be made up of junior directors who will be paid $640 per week and senior directors who will be paid $880 per week. Her budget for paying the staff members is no more than $9,700 per week. She must hire at least three junior directors and one, and at least one senior director. So right there, that seems important. Which of the following systems of inequalities represents this condition described if X is the number of junior directors and Y is the number of senior directors? So let's just focus on one of those, right? Let's focus on the X. So X is the number of junior directors and she needs at least three junior directors. So at least means it's got to be more than three probably, right? So three is good, but two is not. One is not. Four, five, six, those are great. So which one is going to mean that? Well, you can even plug in if you want, right? Let's just pretend X is four for a second because that makes sense with what they're saying here. And that would mean that this is four is greater than or equal to three. That's true. Whereas if I go down to choice C here, four is less than or equal to three. No, it's not, right? So just like that, I know it's not these two choices. And now I can go back into the story and say, what else is different, right? So let me change my color a little bit here. We can now focus on, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna focus on the 10, right? That seems it, easier, right? There's less going on. There's fewer numbers. So what is that 10? I, I saw a 10 up here, right? She has to hire at least 10 staff members. So, all right, that means she needs to hire like 11 staff members. So which one could be that? Well, the X plus the Y, that's the total number, right? The X is the, the number of junior and Y is the number of seniors. So if the total number was 11, is that less than or equal to 10? No, but 11 is greater than or equal to 10. So that seems right. So that's it. Now, I, I took my time with this because I really wanted to just make sure everyone understood what's going on. But to me, this is a question that looks like it's going to take me three or four minutes because of how long it is and how complicated the choices are. But it would have taken me 30 seconds. I know just by looking at those choices before I start reading that I'm only thinking about words like at least, at most, things like that. So hopefully you know what those mean. If not, maybe I, I, I taught you, but it, it just, that's it. Sometimes the entire question is about that. And so we need to just follow those particular instructions. There are a lot of other instructions in here about the 640, the 880, all that stuff, but I just, it didn't matter, right? So, so don't get overwhelmed when the question is this long. It might not be about every single thing that's in there. Use the choices to tell you what to care about. If you are not looking at the choices, at least a glance, before you start reading these math questions, you are doing them wrong. The choices are just as much a part of the question. And if they look easier to understand, make sure you glance at them before you start reading.